All right, but I'll, let's let this talk to Sean for a little bit. Yeah, yeah so uh, Sean mm -hmm. has a really great oh, event cool. coming up, the uh, National Day Civic Day Hack Event. Yeah, the National Day of Civic Hacking, um, we've got coming up on March 31st, I'm sorry, May 31st and June 1st at the Innovation Center. And, it and should be what's, pretty awesome. the, what's the purpose of that? Everybody's coming together to what? So what we're trying to do is get everybody to come together to solve civic problems with technology. Um, some people have problems like a problem that was solved last year was uh, a group of high school students came together and they put together an app that went through your symptoms if you have a cold or thought you might have ah, the flu. Yes. And they would go through your symptoms and they at the end they would tell you you have a cold or you have the flu and they tell you how to fix that. Ah, that's um, great. Which was a, a pretty simplistic um, app. But what they did that was kind of cool is they, if you had the flu, they would send a message to the CDC who tracks flu outbreaks. Mm. And it was a group of high school students that put this together, which was really cool. Data. Yeah. I love the data. I love the numbers lately. That's my new favorite. Yeah. So if you want to be involved with the um, National Day of Civic Hacking, how, how can we get involved? So the easiest way is to get a ticket on TicketCake.com. Uh, if you just search for the National Day of Civic Hacking, it should pop up. Um, we've got tickets available for $10 unless you're under 18 or a student, which if you email me, we'll get you tickets for free. And what's your email address? It is slooker, S-L-O-O-K-E-R, at codeforamerica.org. Wonderful, wonderful. And so this is happening all over the nation, right? On the same yeah. date, at the same... Yeah, there's over 30 cities now that are throwing different um, National Day of Civic Hacking events, anything from hackathons to meetings to get together to talk about open data policy for government. Uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of hacking. That's yeah. a lot of data. It's pretty great. awesome, yeah. I love it. So basically, all these groups are, like, are, are they playing with data that's already available, or are you guys actually going in and pulling more data out of the system? Like, are you... So it's, it's actually a little of both. Um, we were really lucky in Las Vegas because we had the Code for America Fellowship here. Mm -hmm. um, so the government was already really eager to, to work with us because they had a really good, good uh, rapport with the Code for oh, America right. guys. Yeah. Um, so we had a lot of data that had gotten opened up as a result of that. Um, we also go through and we get our own data when we see the need for it. Um, but we're really trying to work with the government to get more open data for citizens to use. Mm -hmm. How much, of the, how much of the government data that we should have do you think we do have right now? Like 80%, um, 50 5? So it depends on who you ask. Um, okay. it, it really just depends on what kind of data the person thinks we should have. Mm -hmm. um, compared to other cities in a recent survey that um, I think Hack for Change did, I can't remember for sure, um, we were at about 30% of what, what they did on the survey, and we're working to get that filled out. And, st and startups can use that data to build apps for free, right? I mean, that's yeah. a good source for them if they can think of a Yep, the data right? is completely open. Um, we've chatted yeah. with the city about it before, and they just want people to use it. That's good. Okay. Yeah.